This is the climber and this thing climbs. Dual drive, super powerful, dry or wet. This in fact is the market leading scooter when it gets to water resistance. And in my opinion, it looks great. This thing is awesome. And like pretty much all in motion inventions, it's fast. Got the new drip from InMotion. This is the climber. And by the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So here we have the box. Let's remove the wrap. So there we go. It's easy to handle. Yeah, and that's the front side. That's the other side, it's basically the same. We have this, a nice picture of the scooter, branding on top, also all sorts of warnings. And then we also have this. Here we can see all the specs and details. And then this down here. And we have two carrying handles, one on each side. So let's open up this box. Okay, we also have this. A little quick start guide, basically. And in here we have the scooter, we have the padding, and right here the accessories, power brick, and toolbox. Oh, nice, we also get spare tubes for the tires. This is actually pretty genius. So you just grab it like so, plug it in. Then we already got the handlebar situation sorted out. Now this will come out too. Down here we have the manual and now we can just grab the scooter. <laughs> yeah, and there we have it. But before we get to it, let's check out the accessories and the manual. So first of all, as I said, we get a set of replacement tubes. This is what they look like. And these are regular car tire valves, perfect. So two of those. Then we get a neat box with a power adapter. That's the connector. That's the top with the LED. And back here we have all the specs. Then we get a toolbox. And in here we also get the power cable for the outlet, for the power brick, of course. And we get all sorts of tools and oh yes, thank goodness, there is the kickstand. I thought there is no kickstand. I am so happy right now. That's the kickstand. You will also get this for a pump. Two of these neat hex key tools and a bag with spare screws. Actually, these are the ones for the kickstand. And then you will also get a bag that's filled with screws and a little wrench. And lastly, the paperwork. So right here we have the quick start guide, QR codes for the socials and for the app, page one, page two and the back. And that's the manual right here, super detailed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and the last page and the back of the manual. There we go. So to recap the paperwork, the hex keys, adapter for the pump, screws and wrench, power adapter, cable, kickstand, and spare tubes. Let's go. So ready for the setup? Can't wait to install the kickstand. So let's do it. Okay, the kickstand will go on the left side. Yep, right there. We will need the larger screws for this one. All right, perfect, easy as that. Now we can do the same for the, for the steering bar. Four screws in total, small hex key. So check it out, there we have it. Straightforward setup, just six screws and we are done with the unboxing and with the setup. Now let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. It basically has a classical design, but with a slight edge to it. I really like the design. I think it looks beautiful. Here on the handlebar, we have this and this. And we have this. On the display, we'll do, we'll do. But first, let's take a close look. All right, let's start with the back wheel. We have the valve right here, regular car tire valves, 350 kPa or 50 psi. There is a motor in the back and also one in the front. We have reflectors right here, nice covers. The back mud guard looks stable. This is metal, thankfully. There is a note, warning, don't step on it. Yeah, definitely recommend it to not step on it. Even though this one looks sturdy enough to handle a bit of abuse. We have the backlight, back fender with a little, you know, space for a plate. And then on the other side, we have the disc, cool looking orange caliper, reflector on the other side as well. Down here, we have the small print and right here, charge port. 
spring loaded. From the top, we also have this hook for the handlebar. This is where the cable exits the board and it deads the board. Looking beautiful, soft to the touch, rubber surface, of course. The other side of the frame or of the board is blank. And here we have the kickstand, decent kickstand. Here we have the front wheel with the hub motor, the valve and the front mudguard. Also here we have the cables coming out of the frame. Warning note right here. On the other side, another cable and the other side. That's the profile of the wheels, by the way. And here we have the folding mechanism. So folding tips, you need to push this one in and then you can pull it out. So this is it folded. And the handlebar has this clip. And this way you can grab it at the handlebar and lift up the whole thing. And here we have the steering bar cable. Very clean look. That's the front light. Max angle is from here to here. On the side we have the branding and also this climb hills with ease. And lastly the handlebar with a bell. Then this grip looking pretty dope. Nice texture. Then we have the left brake. Then the right side, same grip, of course, and the thumb gas. And lastly, the display, press and hold to turn it on. So, single press to turn on the light. And for the rest, we will need the app, so let's get it. So here we have it in motion app. Let's download and install it. And let's also turn on the scooter. There we go. Approve. All right, let's sign up. Let's turn on Bluetooth and the location, of course. Allow it, allow it. There we go. Okay, activate it now. Is it done? Seems to be done. Yes, now we can, with a double press, we can switch through the modes. Walking assist, driving, speed mode. Let's go. In the drive mode, we can turn off and on and off the light. In the speed mode as well. And in the walking mode, the light is flashing. Not bad, right? And now let's finally test it. So here we go. I just wrote it here. It's super silent and super powerful, but just see for yourself. We're not 100% charged, but almost, almost. Oh, actually we're only at 89% of charge level. And let's check the settings briefly. Definitely not. Ride mode. S, of course, of course. Zero start. Oh, that's actually a nice setting. And let's go for KPH. Cruise, better not. All right, we are ready to go. Oh yeah, I hate non-zero start. Oh boy, oh my God. Let's start with the D. The brakes work so nicely. And S. Okay. Oh yeah. In S you have more responsive power. Acceleration is better, but we're clocked at 25. On the D mode. Yeah, on the D mode the acceleration is definitely limited. Not bad, especially for the charge level, but maybe I should actually go for the firmware update. It's probably for the best. By the way, the handles are really nice. They feel amazing. Thick and soft, perfectly for gripping. Brake is amazing too, super responsive. All right, almost there. In the D mode, the acceleration is significantly kept. It feels very convenient though. Okay. Firmware update on the go, no problem. Now I need to reset to KPH and zero start. Okay, let's see. Oh, I love the brakes. Woo, brakes are so nice. Super stable ride, feels extremely safe. And the build, like the scooter, is just super sturdy too. So here we go, look at this thing. Looking absolutely beautiful. It's pretty much about to rain, but doesn't matter. This thing is extremely water resistant. So yeah, let's take it a few rounds around the lake. Can you see it? First raindrop, but no problem for this thing. As I said, oh, it's so fast.
Oh, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Great demo. <laughs> I can easily keep up with the cars. Oh man. Ah. <laughs> so dope. And now let's go for a climb test. This thing is called the climber, so let's climb something. Okay, in the D mode. No problem whatsoever. Let's switch to the S mode. <laughs> the acceleration is way crazier in the S mode. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. Okay, that was actually impressive. That was impressive. Zero start. Yo. <laughs> so nice. S mode once again. Uh, boom. <laughs> so nice. This is actually the steepest climb that I can demo. <laughs> Man, I could do this all day. It doesn't look like it in the video, but this is a very steep slope. Check this out, 17.5%. <laughs> so strong, check this out. <laughs> so yeah, there we have it. Beautiful, strong, sturdy, stable, silent, smooth, love it. And let's see, we are currently 4.6 kilometers and we are at 73%. Looking good to me. It handles amazing. Oh yeah, and the light. When you pull the brake, it will flash. Single press to turn on the light. Front light right here, back light right here. And again, pulling the brake, it will blink. Pretty dope. Big thumbs up from my side. This thing is awesome. As I said, this is the market leading scooter when it gets to water resistance. Inmotion told me that this is actually the first ever scooter with an IP67 rating. And that is quite a high rating. So even on a rainy day, you won't need to worry whatsoever. It is fast and powerful, top speed of almost 40 kph and dual 750 watts motors. So 1,500 watts in total. Usually a scooter has like 500 watts tops. So this thing is a total beast and it definitely can climb. So the name fits 36% inclines, no problem whatsoever for this thing. The ride feeling is amazing. And thanks to the rather thick tire walls, you have a 30% reduced rate of flat tires. So yeah, stable tires, smooth ride. Awesome brakes too. There is a disc brake as well in the back. The stopping power is definitely more than enough. And for what you will actually get, the pricing is just right. It is still affordable and you will get one of the best looking and best performing e-scooters that I have ever tested. It also features easy and quick maintenance tech. So changing the tires, for example, is super fast and easy. And yeah, I just love how it looks and definitely grippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. But before you go, smash that like button, then subscribe, ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one. Enjoy your day and I will see you soon.